Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me talking about 10 fragrances in my collection that I really love that are casual fragrances. And what I mean by casual fragrances are these are pretty much like grab and go scents, but some grab and go fragrances in my collection you could actually wear in the daytime or they actually could also be appropriate in the evening for more formal occasions. These fragrances in my collection I feel are beautiful and I absolutely love them, but they don't really fit on the formal side. So I thought maybe I could share with you guys some favorite casual scents in my collection, so let's go. Now before I get into this, just because it's a casual scent does not mean it's going to be an affordable scent. I have fragrances in this list from really affordable, really ex um, easy to purchase, accessible, to to more expensive luxury brands. So I wanted to have a nice variety of different price points, but just because it's a casual scent doesn't mean that it's going to be um, inexpensive. So there are fragrances in this list that are inexpensive. And if I am correct in looking at all of these fragrances too, every single fragrance in this collection I have purchased myself. So none of these were sent to me. And I also wanted to just kind of let you guys know that as well as you guys know, I try to give you guys as much transparency in my channel as possible. First one I'm gonna start off with is one you hear me talk a lot about. And it's one of the only celebrity fragrances in my collection. And I actually really enjoy celebrity fragrances. Uh, but for the most part, I enjoy one, two, or three from a specific line and not like every single one of them. I did a recent video with Among the Stars talking about our favorite celebrity scents and I wanted him to be a part of it specifically because he loves and has a real respect and appreciation for these gorgeous fragrances and I felt if I was going to do that video I needed to have somebody on there who could be a proper advocate rather than me that just likes a few when somebody has a real appreciation. But this particular fragrance you see a lot in my list because it just works really well for this environment. And it's a very casual scent, but I actually really enjoy it. And it's from Paris Hilton and it's um, Paris Hilton in South Beach. I just call it South Beach. This is just a little guy. My mom gave me this fragrance actually, and I really enjoy wearing this. What I like about this as a casual scent is that it just smells really pretty on. It's light, bright, slightly floral and youthful, and it works really well in heat and humidity. But although it is a casual scent, I wouldn't say that it's appropriate for evening wear or formal wear. I mean, you can wear whatever you want. Just because I'm saying I don't think that these work for nighttime or formal occasions, you can wear whatever you want. But I just find that this is just a really beautiful scent that I love reaching for, specifically if I'm gonna be running errands or I'm not sure what I'm doing throughout the day. I just wanna wear something really nice where I smell really pretty. And Paris Hilton South Beach does a great job. Another scent along the same lines is one I did a first impressions of over a year ago, and initially I was kind of like, I'm not sure, I really like it, I don't know if I would invest in a bottle of this, and I bought a smaller bottle of it and I wear it all the time, it's actually quite great. And it's from Giorgio Armani and it's Sun de Gioia. This is another beautiful casual scent, I wouldn't recommend this for formal settings, again you can wear whatever you want. But there's just a light brightness to this. There's a little bit of floral in there. It's a little bit creamy, kind of a little bit hay-like. Just a little bit, but there's just a beautiful sweetness to the scent. And it's such a joy, joy, joy to wear um, during the daytime, specifically if I'm just gonna be going out to lunch or you know I have a meeting or something for work or things like that. Just really enjoy this scent a lot. So it's another casual fragrance in my collection that I love. You guys all know I have a love and an almost borderline obsession with the Elizabeth Arden green tea scents and pretty much any one of those fragrances could have been a part of this list but I wanted to limit it to just one and so when I was going through them I was thinking which one of these am I most excited to wear that could be considered more casual because some are like the exotic or the intense or some of the special ones with like cherry blossom or things like that could be in specific situations but I feel like this one specifically is more on the casual side but it's really beautiful and it's a fantastic flanker from um, Elizabeth Arden to the green tea line and it's green tea yuzu. I don't usually wear scents to bed but I love wearing this fragrance to bed just because there's something about it that's really calming it just smells really good and I love the brightness that the yuzu adds to this. I think since this comes off a little bit more bright and a slightly soapy 
than the actual um, green tea fragrance. I find this to be a little bit more casual. Green tea is a fragrance I wouldn't say could be worn in a formal situation, but I, depending on the environment where you're going to, you probably could swing it. I probably would say no to yuzu, but this just smells really beautiful, and I think this is one of the more successful flankers to the line. It just, I think the addition of yuzu to the green tea is just such a perfect addition. That choice of citrus just makes this smell really, really gorgeous. So I love this one and definitely a fantastic casual fragrance. This next one is on the upper end. This is a more expensive fragrance, but I would not recommend this for uh, formal occasions just because it is very light, a little bit watery, but I do enjoy it very much. And it's from EB Florals, Eric Buterba, and this is Fragile Violet. Now, I think Fragile Violet is a perfect choice to name this fragrance. It's a light, watery, very sheer, effervescent violet scent. The violet is a tiny bit sweet. It comes off a little bit more botanical, and I think that that is just a perfect way for this fragrance to smell. This is more on the casual side. It has to do more with its projection. The fact that it does sit very close to the skin, it's almost more of a skin scent, and that it doesn't really last crazy long. I mean, I actually get decent longevity on my skin, but it's not a very loud projecting fragrances. I tend to find violet to be more of a daytime scent and not so much of an evening scent, but there are situations where violet would be a beautiful note in the evening, probably more of a candied gourmand violet with maybe something substantial like woods or maybe even some gourmand element to it other than like vanilla and sugar to make it really stand out in the evening. This is just more of kind of like a translucent violet scent and I find that to be more casual but definitely beautiful. And I love these fragrances from this house and I do absolutely love this scent. And even though it is a pricey fragrance and it is casual, I would say that it's still worth checking out because I adore this. Next up is a fragrance that I, another one kind of like the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea, this entire lineup could practically be in this video, but this particular fragrance really just hits a chord with me as a beautiful casual scent. And it's from Guerlain and it's part of the Aqua Allegoria lineup and it's Herba Fresca. Now the reason why I particularly like this one and consider it to be more casual has to do with the fact that it's just a very herbaceous, aromatic, slightly minty, okay, maybe more than slightly minty fragrance. And it kind of goes along with the fragile violet, the fact that this does sit a little bit closer to the skin and this doesn't really last too long. And the, com um, the composition of the scent is more casual and less formal. But I find this to be a beautiful scent and I absolutely love it. So again, a nice casual daytime fragrance. It's really affordable. You can find this for a steal. Uh, but still, nonetheless, I don't think it would really work in formal occasions. Again, you can wear what you want, but a beautiful daytime casual scent. And then another one. It's one of the first reviews I did, and I still am just absolutely obsessed with this fragrance. It's from Derek Lam, and it's Silent Street. This is one of the fragrances that I can thank for getting me back into musk scents. For a while, I wasn't the hugest fan of musk, and then just this fragrance just open the door. It's got a slight floral note to it. It's very in the background, but this is just a beautiful effervescent white musk fragrance. It's just really gorgeous and clean. I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this scent. It's so good. And I really do love Derek Lam's line of fragrances in general. I would not recommend this for the evening just because the muskiness comes off a little bit soapy sometimes and it does stick close to the skin. I wouldn't recommend this for formal occasions, but it is a beautiful, again, casual scent that you can wear in the daytime or early afternoon. Another scent, and this one kind of borders a little bit where it could maybe not be formal, but be more in the evening, afternoon. Just a little bit, maybe, I don't know is from Tory Burch and it's Jolie Fleur Bleu. This scent, I love. I love this scent, it's so good. It's another beautifully powdery floral scent. It's got a nice mix between effervescent, light and bright and slightly powdery in here. And I think that that slight powder mixed with the soapiness might make it appropriate for 
maybe in the early afternoons or <laughs> very early evenings. But because this is so light and sheer on the skin and it does come off to be a little bit sweet and herbal, I would probably recommend this more as a casual daytime scent, but you could wear it a little bit later in the afternoon. Fragrances like this I think could easily be worn for formal occasions if it's a daytime formal occasion, but I actually find this to be more casual and I do really reach for this a lot. I do love it. I think we have three more. Next up is one that I keep forgetting I own and I really enjoy wearing it, but there's so many scents I have that just sometimes they get lost. And this is from Clean and it's White Woods. This is a beautiful casual fragrance, especially if you want something that has a little bit more substance to it. Not so much the stereotypical light musk, floral, bright citrus. If you want a little bit of woods, if you want a little bit of depth, this is a great fragrance. It's a little bit sweet, just like that kind of syrupy sweetness that you can sometimes find in like fragrances very similar to like barbershop scents. This is not a barbershop scent. I'm not saying it's like that, but you know that type of sweetness that I'm talking about, that like woodsy, creamy sweetness, but it's very effervescent and it's very light. I don't find this fragrance to be stuffy at all. I actually find this to be very sheer on the skin and it just smells really beautiful. And I think that this is a gorgeous casual scent that you can find a really great deal on and it's worth checking out. The last two I have is one fragrance that I absolutely love. I have a smaller bottle of it. I sold it so I could get a larger bottle of it. And I definitely think this is a casual scent. Again, it kind of goes into the idea that this sits closer to the skin. This doesn't really work in an evening environment. And I just find the smell of it to smell more effervescent light and youthful and less kind of like mature and sophisticated, which I would attribute to more formal scents. Uh, but it's still nonetheless ridiculously beautiful and I love it and it's from Jo Malone and it's Wild Bluebell. This is a gorgeous scent. It is beautiful. I love it. It's light, it's sheer, it's slightly floral, but not in an overtly feminine way. I actually find this fragrance to be somewhat unisex in regards to how it smells. As you guys know, fragrance is genderless. Anyone can wear what they want. If I'm saying something's more masculine or more feminine, I'm talking about particularly popular trends in, found in men's and women's marketed fragrances. And this does smell like it could easily be worn by men or women just because the florals aren't overtly sweet. Um, they're more kind of true to an actual flower and less kind of like, here's a floral fragrance. And I just find this to be wildly beautiful. Last but certainly not least is another one that is on the expensive side. And this fragrance I find to be very casual, but really like impeccable. And it's from Francis Kirk John and it's Aqua Celestia, not the Forte version. This is the traditional version. This to me smells like mint. And then you got a lime very true to mint like a mint leaf like you kind of you know rubbed a leaf through your fingers and so you smell the oils from the mint leaf but you also smell the green foliage of the leaves with the um the fresh squeezed lime this is just a gorgeous daytime scent um definitely more on the casual side in regards to how it smells and performs but just overall it's a joy to wear and i really love it well, that's it guys that's my 10 casual scents from a collection that i love i have a lot more in my collection that i could easily add to this list too but i definitely wanted to give you guys a nice variety from different houses from designer niche uh, luxury to affordable and things like that and just kind of share with you guys fragrances that i love Again, casual to me is kind of more daytime appropriate, more grab and go. You don't really have to think about it, but there's still a beauty uh, to each of these fragrances that I think can add a little bit of nice smelling whimsy to your everyday life, specifically during the day. If you're looking for something less stuffy and less formal to wear, if you're just going to be going out and about your day and you just want to smell really nice. I'd love to know if you guys have any opinions on any of these fragrances, good or bad, or what your favorite casual fragrances are in your collection. I'd love for you to let me know. As always, guys, if you like these videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. If you do not like videos like this, there is a thumbs down button. This definitely helps me curate content for you guys and bring you guys what you'd like to see. So a thumbs up or a thumb down is greatly appreciated. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to me. I love seeing this channel grow. And I didn't know if you guys know, but I'm back to doing five videos a week. So don't forget to hit that little bell so you can get notified when I have new content come out if you are so inclined to watch. As always, guys, I hope you're all happy and healthy 
and have a great day, month, year, whatever, and I will see you next time. Bye.